Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this channel, I'm covering communication skills for you to level up your way with words, become much more articulate. In today's episode, we are entering the land of storytelling. We're going to be discussing a chapter from my book, The Art and Science of Storytelling. And we're going to be using this chapter to talk about why TV series as of late, it's gaining more popularity than movies. Uh, within the art and science of storytelling, I talk about how you should immediately assume that other people cannot concentrate. Whenever you make this baseline assumption, suddenly you're way better of a storyteller. You're using your palms more. Your tonality becomes beautiful and you're not dragging on a point for too long. You're efficient with your words. And by understanding this principle of others cannot focus for long, you are a better storyteller in the process. And you'll also understand why people nowadays are preferring TV series more than movies. Back in my days, 2007 to 2008, going to the movies was seen as the fun thing to do. If you had a free time, you went to the movies and it was seen as a luxurious experience. And back then, I actually got excited to go to movies. When Netflix came out and I had all these luxurious movies at my disposal, at my living facility, I felt excited. I wanted to watch more movies. But fast forward to 2024, nowadays, if someone suggests watching a movie, I have to think about, hmm, is it worth it? Then I'll say, convince me to watch it. Why should I watch it? I mean, what's different about this movie? I didn't need this type of uh, convincing before. So something has radically changed. One thing that has changed is that nowadays, in my opinion, Hollywood sucks. I mean, they're outsourcing too many writers. They're not taking risks. Uh, they're going for mass success rather than niche success first, then transitioning to mass success. Uh, they're just a big mess. So I don't like movies for that reason. But more importantly than that, what's happening is that I'm very busy throughout my day. I mainly watch entertainment at night. And if I'm going to watch entertainment at night, do I really want to concentrate more? Only if the movie is worth it. Otherwise, I just don't want to bother. Where with TV shows, before, in 2007, it was seen as a laughable form of entertainment. It wasn't seen as serious. I mean, there's a laugh track on most of these episodes. How serious could it be? Things changed when Netflix was introduced and when House of Cards was introduced. These two moments made TV series a serious threat to movies because that's when we saw that a TV series could have a compelling storylines, amazing pool of talent, and awesome c cinematography. And we don't have to concentrate as much because if you get lost uh, 45 minutes into a movie, it's way harder to come back. But if you get lost 45 minutes into a TV series, it's pretty easy to come back. You'll just say, well, just suck it up for 15 more minutes, uh, wrap this episode up and take a break, knock out for the night. So with TV series, nowadays, uh, with House of Cards uh, coming out, they showed that this medium has a lot of potential. Also, TV series are budget friendly, which means that they can experiment more. For every nine duds, you get one House of Cards. For every nine duds, you get one Breaking Bad. And for every nine duds, you get one Squid Games. They have volume on their side, where movies, they do have volume, but they don't have the volume to the level of TV series. Art is subjective. So one person may think something is a dud, but that dud is seen as a masterpiece to someone else. So during that experimentation process, where you are getting nine duds to reach the one Squid Games, the masses will like the Squid Games, but the niches will love uh, the duds. So the TV series has way more variety in that regards. The main premise of why TV series are 
taking over movies is because of the simple principle that we discuss in this book. Human beings at a fundamental level do not like to concentrate. When they have busy days, they just want to come back and relax. And when they relax, they want some good entertainment. Nowadays, TV series can provide that good entertainment and wow the people that are having a very long day. Everything comes in waves though, but right now I'm in that TV series era. And if you were to ask me which one is better, TV series or movies, right now I'm going to say TV series. So if you want more insights like this on why certain people like stories, a process uh, information in a certain way, be sure to check out the Art and Science of Storytelling book. This book will teach you much more about narratives, film, uh, drama, and much more. Uh, grab the book in the link in the description box, the pinned comment. You could get it from Amazon, ArmaniTalks.com, Audible, whichever way you prefer, level up your storytelling skills. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you next time.